Dr. Jerry here with Mills Chiropractic and Wellness Center. And, you know, this month I wanted to jump in a little bit into extremities. It's such a big topic, um, and really I could spend, you know, pretty much an entire uh, weekend seminar or maybe a week-long uh, session just talking about each of the extremities and a lot of the nuances associated with each one. Um, but unfortunately, I can't do that. So this month, what we're going to do is we're just going to pick one area. Um, so this week, I'm going to talk about the shoulder. We'll talk a little bit about the hip, uh, maybe the knee just different areas and just kind of dive into those a little bit kind of helping patients and help you guys kind of understand a little bit more of what's going on now the shoulder is one of the it is the most mobile joint in the body and it tends to you know it can go in all different directions um, and really it's it's such an interesting joint in that it provides so much mobility but at the same time it needs to be very stable and so unfortunately a lot of times it's one of the common areas that gets injured um, whether it's uh, tendonitis you know the tendon uh, connection between the the muscle and the bone or it's the capsule or it's the rotator cuff which is made up of uh, four primary primary muscles that kind of help hold the shoulder in the socket or we end up with impingement where we start pinching tendons or bursitis because of overuse and repetitive trauma or simply um, frozen shoulder which is when we kind of stop using it because of an injury and then it starts to freeze up because we're not moving it enough because it was hurting when we moved it so we stopped moving it so again the shoulder is, uh, is always such kind of a fun uh, joint to deal with because there's so much going on with it and oftentimes it's one of the primary uh, issues that we see in the office. Now shoulders are, they're fun, they're interesting, but they are difficult to treat because we need stability and we need mobility and oftentimes those two things are crashing into each other. Now what most people don't, uh, don't understand or maybe don't know is that a lot of the shoulder problems actually are neck problems um, because they're actually scapular problems because of um, the trap or the scapula not moving freely or being raised up you know a lot of times if we have rotator cuff weakness we cheat we raise that scapula up before we start the movement and that's a lot of times what causes impingement syndrome uh, the other thing that often rises that up is just simply neck pain or poor posture you know hunching down bringing that shoulder all the way up into our ear and then we need to go move it we can't move it because we're um, already in a bind and then that leads to the impingement problems right and so what I wanted to kind of impress this in this short period of time um, that I get to spend with you is that yeah there's a lot going on with the shoulder however most shoulder problems when you look at the research really are biomechanical problems um, whether it's a spine problem a neck problem or maybe truly a shoulder problem and that's one of the fun things is trying to figure out okay how are we going to help or how are we going to address each one of these things and certainly not that i can fix them all you know if you got a complete tear of the rotator cuff you know unfortunately there's there's little um, that i can i can do other than if you've got a complete tear of the rotator cuff unless it's a traumatic injury most likely it's because of underlying faulty biomechanics which still need to be addressed even if we do have to do surgery right and so you know whether you're struggling with a shoulder problem or maybe you've been dealing with a shoulder problem for years um, I just want to remind you that um, those are things that we treat. We see a lot of shoulders, actually. Um, a lot of people actually refer us their shoulder cases um, because they are tricky, but we do have a lot of tools in the office that, that are able to help a lot of patients, and it's an area that I kind of enjoy working on, uh, to be honest with you, even though I kind of complain about it because they are such tricky joints. So anyway, I hope you got something from this week's uh, discussion on shoulders. Until next time, stay healthy and stay well. Mm -hmm.